Hello, I'm John Hummel, Senior Technical Writer for Wallaroo. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to install Wallaroo Community into your existing Kubernetes environment. The first step is to register for a free Wallaroo Community account, where you'll receive your free Wallaroo Community license. Did we mention it's free? Make sure your Kubernetes environment meets these requirements. Eight cores per node, with 16 gigabytes of RAM, the driver type is container D, and have access to both kubectl and cots on the local system you'll be using to install your Kubernetes environment. For instructions on setting up a cloud Kubernetes environment in AWS, GCP, or Microsoft Azure, check out the Walru documentation site at docs.walru.ai. Make sure you're connected to the Kubernetes environment, and it's time to install. With that done, now we can install Walru Community into our Kubernetes environment. We start by creating a namespace where Walru Community is installed to. kubectl create namespace Walru. Now we can install Walru Community with the command kubectl cots install Walru forward slash ce dash dash namespace Walru. During this process, the necessary containers are being downloaded into your Kubernetes environment, services started, and general awesome being applied. You'll be prompted for the default administrative password. Supply that, and the installation will be nearly complete. Once finished, you'll be able to access the Walru administrative dashboard through the default address http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8800. Open your browser and access that URL. First thing to do is log in with the new password, then provide your Walru community license file. Next, you'll notice several configuration options that we'll skip here, though you should note the DNS address that has been supplied by Walru. This is how you'll access the Walru community dashboard later. Scroll down and select Continue. Walru community will now perform a pre-flight check, making sure your Kubernetes environment is ready. And that's it. There may be some more background processes, but when your cluster is ready, you can access your Walru community dashboard and get to work. Time to access our new Walru dashboard. You'll see the URL right there, the main prefix and the DNS suffix. In my case, it makes the URL for my Walru dashboard flashychair3389.walru.community. These URLs are unique to your license. Once your Walru community instance is running for the first time, you'll receive an email providing you with your temporary password. Open the URL for your Walru dashboard, use the same email address registered with the Walru community license, and use your temporary password. You'll be prompted to change your temporary password for a permanent one. With that, you're now using Walru. For more instructions, make sure you check out our blog posts at walru.ai slash blog or use our tutorials and other guides at docs.walru.ai. Thanks for being part of the Walru community. Mm -hmm.